Hi, this is Fashionista Jones, and welcome to another episode of Hot Tea Photography Review, where each week we take a look at the main stage fashions of Canada's drag race and vote. Is it out or a boot? So if you want to see what this week's episode is all about, then stay tuned. This week's main stage fashion challenge was Night of a Thousand Selins. And trust, my heart definitely went on. Let's get to it. First up, coming down the runway is the one and only Scarlet Bobo. And I just have to say, she looks so beautiful. The color of this fabric is phenomenal. It looks stunning against her skin tone. The hair is right, the makeup's right, the jewels are right, the shoes are right. Kudos to the designer. Beautiful silhouette, absolutely stunning job. Bobo's inspiration pick of Celine matches this beautifully, but it's leveled up. I am all about this. <laughs> up next, we have Ilona Verley slithering her way down the runway in a very drop crotch esque type of skorts ensemble. It's a very safe look as she was safe during this runway challenge, and of course, for the main challenge, which was the snatch game, of course. It's, it's white, it's got some pink in it. Um, it's again, it's a scored drop crotch and um, the hair color matches the outfit and so do the nails. I do have to say, I know, Ilona, you can bring more than this. And girl, I think you knew you were safe for this challenge and it shows on the runway. I expect more from you, darling. This is it for me. Up next, we have Rita Baga prancing her way down the runway. And I must admit, I, I actually really do love this look. I'm a huge fan of the 80s. I love Rita's inspiration picture of choosing the 80s style of Celine to show, I mean, the, the white two-piece with like the, the tool or like the, the netting. Well, that was a choice. But uh, all in all, girl with the reveal, uh, amazing. I love it from head to toe. Of course, in the Snatch Game, your Edith was absolutely fantastic, girl. You don't need no coffee, mama. I'm all about this. And next we have the lovely Chiara showing her model body. I'm telling you, homegirl has got legs, Tinta turned her, Tinta burnt her, you name it. Uh, it's a fierce look. The inspiration picture uh, compared to her rend rendition idea of it is absolutely, it's so on point. It's crazy. It's fashion. It's glam. Her face is boot. The hair is laid. I wish she would have brought this during the Snatch Game. She did not with her Mariah scary rendition there. However, this look, this fashion, I am all about this. Next, we have Priyanka sashaying down that runway and who she was cutting it close this week. This is a beautiful look. Um, it's a lot of fullness. I'm used to seeing Priyanka with a lot less fullness on her body. Regardless, it was a beautiful look and um, she really knows how to work a runway and the inspiration and the idea and the execution of it. I, I'm definitely all about this. However, let's talk about her snatch game. Yeah, don't call me now, Miss Cleo. Mm-mm, that's fraud, that's dirty. Ah, the oh-so-curious Jimbo is literally stomping her down that runway. Her Celine-inspired look is legit, just pure magic in every way, shape, and form. Kudos to the designer. Send me your stats and deets here. Send me your deets. Send me your info. You're a fabulous designer. This is everything. From the head to the toe, I am all about this. And of course, let's not forget Jimbo's snatch game, Joan Rivers. Oh my God, it was absolutely fabulous. Miss Bitch on Arrival is, as always, galloping down that runway. The one and only Boa is really channeling some share vibes. I actually love the amount of fringe that's on it. I actually love the fact that, and especially in this picture, that that movement of that fringe is just accentuating someone who's curvy. She, she's fantastic. The headpiece is fantastic. I love this. I am all about it, hands down. Let's talk about her snatch game now. She played it safe. She would have been better off playing who she initially thought she was going to do, and she really missed out on an opportunity and uh, you know what, girl, we're, we've been there. Evie Oddly's been there. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And last, but most certainly not least, rounding out the runway lineup is the one and only Lemon. Let's just back it up here for a moment. Girl, what are you thinking? There's no shape. 
there's there's no body like I knew you were wearing a course that's cute where's where's the hips where's the ass the inspiration pick I, I mean nice choice but girl it's covering up your whole body you are a dancer mama okay look at how fantastic you did on the snatch game you should have brought what you did to the snatch game into the runway I love the whole like jewel of the ocean heart of the ocean whatever it's called but girl I know you can do better than this so unfortunately I am gonna have to eat this look but Lemon, you know, you know this. You got this girl. So there you have it. A breakdown of the lurks of Canada's Drag Race. I'm telling you this, everyone. My favorite look of the whole night is, of course, the one and only Jimbo. Absolutely amazing in every way, shape, and form. The inspiration was right. The snatch game was right. Everything was right and tight, mama. Well, that is it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And until next time, stay tuned.